Hey you guys, so it's Maria and today I am here for my September TBR and I've decided for this month instead of picking books off my shelves and TBR jar books, I've decided to just do TBR jar books this month because, you know, I just feel like I need to ease back into reading and balancing that with school rather than, you know, just overloading myself like you have to read all these books this month. I have decided for the fil Philosophical Dictionary by Voltaire um, to read a little bit every night because that's more like of really interesting philosophical ideas. I like to sit there and kind of think about them and process what they really mean rather than just try to read through it just to get it done with. So that's going to be my project for the next few months. So now that I have gotten all that over with, let's just pick the books for this month. So as usual, we're starting with the like YA jar. Um, I did put all the papers back from last month back into the jars because I figured there was no point in keeping them out if I'm not going to read them anytime soon. <laughs> so the book here is Beautiful Darkness by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. If you guys didn't know, that is book number two in the Beautiful Creatures series. And I really enjoy the first book and I have heard that this second book is just awful. And so I'm like, I'm still excited because I've been wanting to finish up that series for a while. So now I can kind of push past that bad book and kind of go on to the rest of the series, which is, I've heard is really, really, really good. I'm still excited for it, despite the fact that the majority of people hate this book and refuse to continue on with the series after they've read it. Next is the classic star, and this is going to be The Complete Stories by Franz Kafka. Okay. So I actually took a test in like seventh grade and it was supposed to give me my Lexile and then books it recommended for me and it recommended Franz Kafka so I got a bunch of stuff from him to read and then I never did so now I can. So now I'm going to pick two more from each jar just so I have more options throughout the month. You know, if I finish all these and I want another book or if I start one of these books and don't feel like reading it right then, I can pick one of these. Um, to read instead. So the second one is going to be... Okay, this is Crown of Midnight number two by Sarah J. Moss, but if you've seen my TBR jar video, well, I'll link, which I'll link below, I said if I pick a sequel and I haven't read the first book, I just have to read the first book, not the first and the second. I just have to read the first book. So that would be Throne of Glass. And the third book I'm going to pick out of this jar is... Enclave number one by Anne Aguirre. Okay, some of the recent books I've gotten. Okay, and now we're picking two more from the classics jar. Far from the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. Okay, Thomas Hardy just likes to haunt me every month, doesn't he? Okay, and now we're gonna pick the third book. The Divine Comedy by Dante. I'm sure I'll have time for that this month. Okay, I'm gonna go grab all those books and I will be back here very soon. Okay, so the YA books I've picked out for this month from the jars are Beautiful Darkness by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Enclave by Anne Aguirre, and Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. I'm actually really excited for all of these picks. I know that not a lot of people like Beautiful Darkness, but I've already explained why I'm excited for that one. Enclave is one I've wanted to read for a really, really long time. And Throne of Glass is another one of those that I've been wanting to read and I think I'm really going to enjoy. So I'm really excited for this month's picks. And now for the classic picks, I have The Complete Stories by Franz Kafka. And I don't quite know all these are about, but I'm going to read them because I have been wanting to read these for a while. I bought these because the test told me that I was going to enjoy it and I never read it. So I gotta read it. Then I picked out The Divine Comedy by Dante and don't know if I'm gonna have time for this but it is really really beautiful edition. I mean I love this edition. It's my mother's. She purchased it so I am really excited to check this out. Maybe I'll make this a project for a few months as well. You know read a couple pages every night. Really like absorb it. Um, I think that would be really really cool and I've been wanting to read this for a while. And then the last book I picked out this month is another Thomas Hardy one. Three Thomas Hardy books in the few consecutive months. I only read Tess of the Gerbervilles and I didn't end up reading The Return of the Native. But this one is Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. And I don't know what this is about either. <laughs> but I am really excited for this nonetheless. And 
Um, if you know what it's about, please let me know down below because I have no idea. I'll probably be looking it up after this video or reading the summary on the back. So those are the books I've picked out for the month. I'm really excited for them. I think there's some really cool books to kind of bring me out of my reading slump, number one, and number two, help me really want to balance reading with school because I always put school first because I think it's really, really important, but I also want to be able to read because it's just one of my favorite things to do and I haven't had time lately. Thank you guys so much for watching and now it's time for my random fact. My random fact is that every beginning of the school year around like August 25th to like September 3rd or something a fair comes into town and I went to the fair this Saturday and it was so 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 much fun. I just love the fair. It's it's like as it a bunch of spinny rides but you don't trust all of them because these are collapsible rides so that they can travel from place to place and so I don't entirely trust them. I don't go on all of them but I also love the food and I love the music and everything that goes on and just everything about the fair is just so much fun and so I, I just love it it's it's so great so I just wanted to talk about that and I will see you guys in my next video tell me what you're gonna be reading this month because I want to know bye